You can get 5 8 at some shops, but they want crazy, crazy prices, like upwards of 25 bucks for one. So, um, what I did was I found a sanding drum for a Dremel type tool, and uh, it's exactly 15 millimeters. So, I just traced it, and I'm going to continue on that path and use the sanding drum to sand out my 15 millimeter hole. It's kind of my only option at this point. Okay, so the uh, Dremel sanding drum trick worked. Um, the holes are pretty good. They're almost perfectly round. There's the odd edge to it, but uh, the buttons now fit in. I don't want it to be too tight because I don't want to cause anything to crack in here. If, like, I don't want to push these guys in too far. So I've just run into a little bit of a challenge here. Um, originally my 500k ohm pots were here and here and I want to slide my volume down to here and my tone here from my magnetic and move my GK pot here. Now it's a no problem with the GK pot because it's a 50k ohm mini but my original volume pots are 500k ohm pots and as you can see they fit in the hole it's just the back hits this back wall so I need to groove out a part of the back wall as you can see I sort of started it already um, what I'm going to use to do that is my rotary tool here with the sander and just dig out enough space to get that pot in there and we should be okay so the last thing I want to mount is going to be the GK selector switch and uh, there's really no room so I gotta make room um, I'm pretty maxed out with space and playing wise, I think I want to go with putting it um, in front of the, just behind the switch that exists on the guitar already so I don't knock it. Like I say, it's mostly going to be on the GK setting anyways. Uh, I'm going to skip the LED as uh, pretty as it looks. Uh, I think it's just going to take this nice black guitar with black controls and knobs and maybe throw it out of place a little bit. And there's no room for it either. Um, I would like to do a halo or something behind behind the bridge but I haven't gotten that far yet so um, I'm just gonna flip it over and I'll show you what I'm gonna have to do um, the existing switch is here and I wanna stick this guy sort of in line with it closer to the top I don't want it to be too close to the edge so it's probably gonna go there um, I've already pencil marked it so now I'm gonna drill my hole through here then I'm gonna have to use my sander trick the drum seemed to work pretty well and I'm gonna have to get right into this spot here and notch out like a good chunk of real estate to get this guy in Then when that's done I'm gonna have to wire everything up and try and install it all so hopefully I can wire it up uh, outside the guitar and then put it in so I'm happy to say I'm done all the cutting and drilling that I'm going to need to do. Knock on wood. So there is the additional switch hole there. Put it right inside the, uh, beside the existing one. So show you it's going to go in like that. Fits in nicely. Can get at the wiring. Um, so should be good. Now I'm going to dry fit everything. I just wanted to show you where I use my uh, jeweler's drill, the hand drill, um, just to drill out the stops here for the pots so the pots don't spin. Uh, it's a handy little tool. You definitely don't want to put a, a electric drill in there at this point. Um, it's such a thin surface here. You've got maybe a quarter of an inch to play with. Looks like three or four millimeters. So the stop that you'll see right here on the edge of the pot where my thumb is will fit nicely in there and then I'll tighten the nut on the outside. It's really starting to come together. I've got it all dry fit and I just realized why I dry fit. Um, the 50k pot that comes with the GK pickup is pretty long. Um, it's got a long stem on it I guess for different applications and you'll see it's higher than my other ones. So I'm going to take it out and I'm going to bypass the whole, uh, the whole idea of uh, the pot stop that I put in there and I'm going to have to add in 
a couple of washer spacers just to get that profile the same. But so far it's coming along, looks pretty good. Hopefully it's as functional as it looks. I'm just in the process of wiring up the pickups, so I need to feed them all through. I've started here with the neck stock magnetic humbucker. Um, there's a big red wire. There's two small wires for this middle pickup, a green wire for the bridge, um, and then additionally the big one for the GK. So I've actually got them all to the point of where the bridge is, and I've taped them up because I'm going to feed them through that hole um, just because they're really messy trying to, to feed them one at a time. It was kind of difficult, so that's where we're at. I've cut the um, pickup ring. Um, as you can see I'll have to go on to plan B uh, it, it just doesn't sit right and because there's no support here it causes the ring to, to pull in to buckle in so I'm gonna go back and use the original one the metal one and I'll have to cut it with my uh, rotary saw so I measured off my pickup ring distance again and I just cut it off with my battery powered rotary tool and uh, I was surprised to find it, it's, it's made of brass and uh, it's pretty strong. You could probably bend it, but hopefully it holds up better than the uh, plastic one. Okay, so I wasn't exactly sure of the height. So I've put it in place temporarily with some two-sided tape. It's not sticking very well, but it's going to be there. And uh, once I get the strings on and stuff, I can shim it. Then I can fire some screws into it. I noticed that in the wiring diagram there is a harness um, you'll see it here just to the left of the preamp board this harness com is completely wired to the GK switch that they provide you with and the two uh, up and down buttons the, the switch one switch two buttons there's no other connections so and they're all close together for me in the cavity so I'm actually going to solder them all all together outside of the guitar because A it's safer, B it's easier because um, I've got these little alligator arms that are going to help me out and uh, I can tin all the wires and then put it all in when I'm done. Okay so they're soldered up I just uh, I'm going to tie them probably up like this together a little tie wrap just to provide some group tension relief on all these connections and it shouldn't pull out um, and I've added a ground in that's got to go to the two buttons. Once again, same deal uh, applies to the GK volume pot. Um, the wiring harness just can be attached to it outside the guitar in my case because the control board and the pot are in the same cavity. So I've done that, I've soldered it up. Um, I'll show you the inside here. It's kind of hard, but my two buttons are in there nice and tight and flush and uh, the wires are all dressed nicely and out of the way so my next step is to wire up the original magnetic pickups and once those are complete and the guitar is ground and the jack is is reconnected then I will connect this final set of wires to the magnetic volume pot and snap everything together and we should be good to go. Okay, I'm doing my soldering now inside the cavity. Uh, one thing that really helps me is to tape back all the wires I'm not about to solder. So, for instance, if I'm about to solder this wire, I tape everything else back. It may be a little tedious because there's a lot of wires in there, but it works because you don't want to take a red hot iron and put it in there and even if it's an inch to an inch and a half away the heat inducted can melt or at least start to melt the shielding on a wire so that's what we have here um, otherwise it works really well so I highly advise to tape back all your wires now that all the wiring is complete I'm just dressing it up and at the same time I've added uh, double sided tape to the bottom of the control or the PCB board and it's going to sit flush down in the bottom there. Alright, so there we go. Um, everything's installed, wired up, and uh, in place. 
the uh, wiring has been dressed as best as possible and there's still a little bit of room in there not much room to work but there's room I mean I've got you know a little bit of depth here which is good um, the cover plate's going to go on this cover plate shielded I'm not sure how that's going to affect this guy but it does appear to have some sort of a plastic on it so hopefully it's not a a ground or anything but we should be good to go now I'm just about to put the bridge back in and I've got to turn it around to put the springs in so I tape it to the body so that it doesn't fall out and flop around and damage the surface of the body when I flip it over I've just finished setting up the guitar um, I've put DR Black Beauties on 10 to 46 you don't want to go lower than 10 to 46 because you're going to find that the strings will uh, fluctuate a little bit wider and it's going to cause um, some inaccuracies when the uh, GK picks up the signal and you're going to hear some warbling or fluctuating to your sound um, kind of like the camera doing this uh, so anyways um, another thing you want to do is when you set up your GK pickup you want to make sure that the height here between the magnet and the string is no more than a millimeter when you're fretting the last fret here um, I've done that now I am a little bit higher than a millimeter but I have done that in the past as well and there's some settings in the VG that allow you to do that as far as the sensitivity goes and the reason I've done that is I like to pull back on the bar um, and if you pull back on the bar you'll see that it adjusts the height of your string and if this pickups any higher then when you pull back on the bar it's going to fret out right on the pickup and it's not going to be pleasant and I dealt with that for a little while until I decided to fix it um, I think that's about it uh, I guess it's time to go plug it in I did only use one spacer on this guitar um, and the height was pretty good and I haven't adjust the uh, the yoke or, or the radius of the magnets uh, with this little screw yet I think by from a factory default it looks um, almost the same as the radius on my jumbo frets here on my Ibanez but I'm gonna go and confirm that right now one last thing I'd like to mention that uh, Roland does note in their documentation is for some reason they do not provide any screws for the GK uh, output jack plate which I don't understand that but anyways I had four on hand, um, unfortunately they're chrome, so I'm going to pick up some black ones 